Hey there, YouTube, it's Justin the Snap-On Junkie, and you're probably like, Justin, Junkie, why in the fuck the scene change? Well, because today is the day that we've all been waiting for the much appreciated, much long overdue toolbox from Snap-On is getting delivered today. So I had to come down to the shop a little bit early uh, move all the other shit out of the way, the old toolboxes and everything, so we can get the new one uh, placed in here. Now, what this is, is I'm going to take you guys on the same adventure uh, that I'm going to go through it. So, the first time I see the box is the first time you're going to see it. You get to see my reaction of how beautiful this goddamn thing is. And I've been waiting for this goddamn day for basically since... Uh, the middle of December, uh, really November, we started talking about this deal, and it took to the end of December to get it closed up. But anyway, fucking without further ado, uh, when the truck guy gets here, uh, I don't even give a shit if he doesn't want to be on camera. That's his fucking problem. It's going to happen. Uh, take it or leave it. That's the way that I do things. You know it. Uh, there is no difference. Plus, I'm super excited about this thing. Uh, I couldn't even, uh, today when the guy called me, when he said that he was going to be here at 5 o'clock, I was pacing around the house, uh, you know, just jazzed up. I mean, this thing is, uh, I've been wanting this thing for a while, you know, and luckily I, you know, I work hard enough I can afford to get this. But anyway, I don't want to drag this on because, again, ah, uh, fuck, I went on a fucking rant there. But anyway, it's just excitement. And I want you guys to feel the same thing that I've been feeling. Uh, a lot of people have been waiting for this day. So what we'll do is uh, I'll show you everything and then how we have to put it together and all that stuff. And then what we will do uh, starting tomorrow or Thursday, I guess, uh, we will uh, start uh, organizing the box. And I'm going to take you through all of that. I'll show you all the foam how we do everything like that. So just bear with me, guys. This is, again, going to be a fucking series with me. Uh, you know, I like to do those. But anyway, fucking today is the day. So rock on, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. As always, you know, I might forget it later. Fuck, I don't know. Just depends on how excited I am. But awesome. Hey guys, it's here. Uh, it's in this big-ass moving truck. Let's see what the fuck this thing looks like. So this is how it comes. I guess it comes, uh, Snap-on sends them like this in this Allied moving van. Uh, he's got to get the boards off here. So, you know, guys aren't very, these guys aren't very competent. What I mean, what I mean by that is they don't fucking listen to the guy that fucking owns the shop, really. You know, I don't know if you ever ran involved into that. Hey guys, they're getting a hutch off right now. Pull this in. So it comes in this nice big ass box here. Look at that. It says, thank you. You have purchased the best tool storage unit ever. Now here comes the uh, here comes the uh, side locker. Look at this motherfucker! Ooh, it's got the eco locks, perfect. That's what we ordered. Fellas, look at this motherfucker. So I ordered it with the eco locks. Oh shit, it's all locked up. Uh, look at this thing. 
The color is absolutely perfect. Black trim. The side locker deserves 38 fire emojis. The toolbox is probably gonna be like over 100, but this, so this is how it comes all put together. You don't have to do anything to it. You just gotta bolt the hutch onto the top of the side locker, or on top of the regular locker, but there we go. How many of these guys, how many of these do you deliver a week, guys? Um, six bearings. We deliver all the boxes that are 76 and bigger, so. All, all the boxes are 76 and bigger, that's what you deliver? Yep. Do you have a contract with them or something yeah, like that? Yeah, we do all the United, we all the staff on boxes. Yeah. So. So I guess they gotta have me inspect it or something, I don't know. Whoo, fire! Yeah, this is. Guys, this is a hundred fire emojis right here. A hundred fire emojis. Look at this thing. Well, it's exactly what I ordered. So far, I don't see anything wrong. I wish I could be like Jay Young and get the black wheels, though, Mr. Big Box. We might have to. We might have to work a deal on that. But man, it comes with the it comes with the top already on it and everything, don't it? Um, if you want to look it over for any rips, tears, and then the plastic, then after that, if you want, you take the plastic all the way out. Alright, so far, so far, dude, it looks, it looks awesome. So, I would say that we're, we're cooking with gas. Yeah, if you want to. Alright, guys, we're trying to get the crate in here right now. Uh, we got the toolbox in, no problem. This fucker is big. <laughs> So, uh, we'll get into this here in a second. Because, all right, guys, we got her in here, and right now we're just trying to get the things lined up to get them uh, ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, this thing is massive. So the first thing we're gonna do is bolt the bolt the sides together. Correct, Jason? Correct. All right, so we're gonna bolt the sides together, and then we'll be back after we got that all done. I'll show you all that. Okay, so this is me and Jason. Uh, I think we're, uh, what we're doing is we're trying to get the hutch. We got everything bolted together. The hutch is on, uh, the side locker's on. It's a pain in the ass to bolt this shit together. Like, it's kind of like you got to move it around and all that stuff. Um, the hutch is just, you just, uh, they give you a kit and, uh, you pilot hole, they have like a little guide and everything. So you pilot hole that, then you bolt all that down. Right now, what Jason is working on is he's putting all the LED uh, light bars in and all that stuff. Um, he wanted to come down and help me with it. Uh, a, because I think we're friends. And, uh, you know, B, I've been a good customer and he just wanted to make sure everything went smooth. So this is us putting the LEDs on. Uh, I'm just standing over here like a boss, uh, fucking around, helping him a little bit. Uh, you know, I don't know what we're talking about there, but oh, I know what it is. I was trying to put the handle on, and I thought the covers went on there uh, one way. But anyway, this is us putting the lights on. So that's kind of what we're working on right there. All right, guys, so over here, what Jason's doing is he's getting the LED lights put in the hutch. Uh, 
and it mounts up. He's, you know, reading the instructions and all that stuff. I'm just smoking cigarettes, uh, kind of cleaning up the shop. That's, you know, that's, I'm a boss. That's what I do, really. I mean, come on. But uh, you can see how tall this thing is. I mean, Jason's a short dude like me. Uh, this is his telephone number if anybody would like to call and tell him that he's pretty or whatever. Uh, you guys can do that. Uh, he is an awesome guy. Uh, you know, I would, you know, we became really good friends and he's, uh, kind of taught me a lot about how snap on works and everything like that. And I greatly appreciate it. He does like the YouTube channels. Uh, me and him are going to do a video, uh, in the future together. Uh, he wants to introduce himself a little bit. He has to get over his camera, camera shyness. But anyway, this is us working on uh, that part of it. I mean, this thing's got like a shit ton of cords because each one of those eco locks has to plug in. Uh, the LEDs got to plug in. Uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. And the power drawers, they all have a plug in and everything like that. So it's just a lot of electric run. Uh, it, it really only needs... Uh, you need five plugs to plug in this toolbox, so that's pretty many, but anyway, uh, we got this done, and then we'll move on to the next part. Our... Okay, then we got to figure out these eco locks, don't we? Yeah, basically, I need, uh, I got three outlets back here. I need three of those eco lock transformers. Okay, guys, what we're doing here is we are uh, programming the eco locks. Uh, Jason read the instructions and he showed me how to do it. But what it is is you only need one key fob and I can control all of my functions. So I don't need keys. You know, it's kind of like Back to the Future. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Well, my toolbox doesn't need keys. It has a key fob just like a car which is totally awesome. So this is just us figuring all this out. Uh, what's cool about these hutches is you can lock it open too. Uh, you know, if you want to keep the lights on or whatever, that's a cool feature. It, you know, uh, it'll, you know, it locks on the top and the bottom, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see, you know, this thing is absolutely beautiful. Uh, wait till we get in it. This is Jason just shooting the shit to me. Uh, you know, we're talking about uh, really women, really, is what we're talking about. It, you know, whatever. He He's a snap-on guy. He's got a whole bunch of whoas uh, that want his shit. But anyway, he'll probably get mad for me talking about this. But whatever. But this is us. We finally figured out how it all works. So that's this section. I got to shoot different because this thing is so massive. I didn't realize how big this thing would be. Uh, this is my beautiful 84 inch Epic with side locker and riser and rhino top, uh, here. Uh, I'm drinking a beer after this. A, because I ran out of Mountain Dew and this is all I had here was this shit. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed some of the voiceover stuff I did while I was getting delivered. It was just too hectic, uh. It took me and my Snap-on guy, Jason, a couple of hours to get this, uh, you know, put all together. Like, it's kind of tricky to get everything lined up. It's just a pain in the ass and to get all the lights in it. So what I want to do is here in a second, you know, uh, I'm going to show you guys, kind of just walk around it. We'll do a brief, a brief overview of this thing uh, just so some of you, you know, can be excited. Now, I will say this. Uh, Jay Young, uh, we all know and love him. He has a Mr. Big box, but he ain't got this. <laughs> Unlock. How about that? So as you can see, now everything is unlocked. You hit the button. Lock. Now we're locked. Still taking a little bit to get used. Unlock. Gangster. Gangster. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, we'll get in here close and then we'll talk about 
uh, what this thing really is. It, it takes up a shit ton of space. Uh, the first thing I'll show you is over here in the side locker. Now the color of this is sapphire blue, which you probably know. Uh, it is a, uh, it's got black trim here, you can see. So in this thing, uh, we got lights. Um, I did order an extra shelf for it up here. Okay, then it's got uh, five uh, shelves that come out. Uh, this shelf, sorry, this shelf is stationary. Um, and then what I also did is I bought the power locker uh, to have more uh, tools, more air tools and stuff over here. Uh, and it comes with this thing. Now, I will tell you when we get to something else, I'll show you something that pisses me off about this box and Snap-on needs to fix it, but we'll get into that later. So then it's got, you know, shelves down here. Now what's cool about these is, dude, they come all the way out. I mean, that's 30 goddamn inches of pure sexy goodness. I'm in love with this thing, guys. You don't even know. I love this thing so much. Uh, this is this is well worth the money. I mean, fuck, fuck. It, this thing deserves a hundred and fifty fire emojis and a black arm. I don't know why I threw the black arm in there, but I'm just saying, hundred and fifty fire emojis. So that's that's your locker, and we got uh, you know the Snap-on branding on it. Okay, now let's get into, uh, this is what they consider a workstation uh, on top of here. And um, what you get for the workstation is just this thing uh, here. You know, you can see, woo! I mean, this is, Ric Flair would have to woo this, guys. So over here, once you open it up, uh, I have the LEDs on. Um, if anybody... Uh, would buy this without the LEDs right from the factory. Uh, I'm just going to tell you, you're stupid. For the 170 bucks, it's well worth it. If not, every time you open it up, look how dark that is. You know, uh, it would be fucked up. So anyway, that's it. Okay, um, what you get with it? Okay, you get the shelf. Uh, you get one 12-inch can tray. And I think this is a screwdriver holder. I'm not sure. And then, um, as you can tell, moving down to the to the top of the toolbox, that I got the Rhino lined uh, toolbox here. Um, I really like the Rhino lining. I know that some people might not like it, but I think it. I don't like stainless steel because it gets kind of fucked up. Now, pointing back here, this is what pisses me off. Snap on you fucked up. You fucked up big time. Okay, what do you see there, guys? We got four power outlets. What do we got over here? Four power outlets. Where in the fuck is the USB? Fuck! What the shit? This space over here, instead of giving me these fucking stickers, right here, pop me two or three USBs in there. Now I gotta get a USB fucking module and all this bullshit. Fuck. You know. Other than that, I'm gonna say that I'm really happy. I'm just saying, whoever thought of this did not fucking think. Uh, or maybe there's no other options. I couldn't figure... I, I just... It, it, fuck. You know. What are you gonna do? So anyway. Uh, let's get off that rant. Damn it. Okay, so... Like, I got to order some extra stuff up in here uh, at a later time. But, so this is your hutch. Okay, and this is what it comes with. And it gets held down by four bolts all in the corners and all that stuff. It's pretty, it's pretty sturdy. You know what I'm saying? So then, um, let's get, oh, fuck, I ran into the vise. So this is the toolbox, just the bottom part. And what I will tell you is I, I didn't get the black wheels. I didn't know that was an option. I think Jay Young's the only one with those, but whatever. Uh, all four of these casters swivel, and that's what helped us get us in this room. 
but um, I bought it with the power bank. Um, again, this just holds more tools over here. Um, you know, we'll be adjusting all this. I'm going to show you how to do that in uh, tomorrow's video. Hopefully, if I get a lot of shit done, we'll see. Okay, now the reason that I bought the one with the power bank drawer in it is, is because now I get a 62 inch top, a 62 inch top drawer. And this is the top drawer. I mean, you could fucking sleep in this goddamn thing. You know, it's got double slides on it, all that type of shit. So, again, um, I got, um, this is going to be the future wrench drawer. Uh, I think we'll be able to get all the wrenches in there. Uh, this is uh, going to be plier drawers. And then look at this. I already got my 36 inch breaker bar in there just to see if this would fit. This is going to be ratchets in this drawer. Uh, we haven't figured out what goes in here. Um, another drawer, again, ain't figured it out. Uh, we got this drawer. Uh, then we got this. This is supposed to be a personal drawer, but I'm taking this out. I'm taking this out. I don't really like it. Uh, we got this big long drawer here. And this. This big drawer. I think I'm going to put all my diesel kits down in there. But anyway, guys, this is just a quick overview of it. Uh, you know, please watch my channel. Uh, in the future, uh, we're going to be organizing all this stuff and making it really fucking badass. I just wanted to get this out and uh, kind of show you, you know, that I, I'm not bullshitting out here, people. This is real in the streets, real life stuff. You know, I got it going on. Uh, you know, I'm really, I'm really proud of myself uh, for buying this toolbox. I know that may sound arrogant like a fucking dickhead, but I, I really am. I, I like it a lot. It's well worth the investment. It's going to make me more efficient. But anyway, guys, uh, that's just a quick overview of it today. I hope you like it. Um, you know, awesome. <clears throat> Let's have a drink of the Stella. Uh, also, guys, this is my favorite beer, uh, Stella. This Belgium stuff, I really like it. Um, but we'll get all this stuff. Uh, cleaned up and start organizing it first thing in the morning. I'm probably gonna get up early and come in But I, I got to get this video out tonight to you guys. So anyway uh, Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Also, there'll be a link in the description um, if you want to donate to the channel uh, The junkie might need a little help uh, You know a buck here a buck there Everything goes a long way. Uh, so donations are always welcome, guys. Uh, I guess that's all I got for the day. Uh, thanks for watching.